what is she going to do about it? What is she expected to do about it? Okay, That's now her situation. let's go to Lizzie. Who is let, I will let Lizzie explain. Lizzie, Lizzie is the <laughs> consummate professional, been married before, unlucky in marriage, not likely to do it again, but she wants to have fun and she's entitled. And she goes for what she wants. She doesn't want the complication of some old man bothering her life. She gets a toy bird that will sit when she says sit, stand when she says stand, and do exactly what she wants him to do when she wants him to do it. Hmm. And this, does it in any way represent our society? <laughs> it represents real people. It, real people. And what I love about 50 is that each time, even if you go on our Twitter handles and if you look at all our social media and the feedback we're getting, generally, people are relating specific areas mm -hmm. about some of the characters to people they know or to themselves. Mm -hmm. Now, I am a very strong Christian, so I can take part of Kate's character as my own. I'm a career woman. I can take part of Maria's character mm -hmm. as my own. I don't have a tall boy, so I can't do that <laughs> bit right now. You know? But I'm just saying that there are certain elements of it that we can all relate to. There are women in our society that would rather have relationships with younger men. They don't want the attachment. And it's important for us to understand that these are real societal issues that we're dealing with. How do we solve them? When you mm. said they're real people. Real people. Let's talk about that. Look, um, it, the, it, the, they say the world is a global village now. We're all well-traveled. We all have friends who live abroad. We all know someone. The, the issues that Nigerian women or Nigerian people face are no different from the issues that are faced in Manhattan, Paris, Montreal, wherever in the world. Mm. You have strong, accomplished women running things in this country every mm. single day. But it's just unfortunate that when we tell these stories, we portray women who are successful not because they've worked hard and deserve what they get, but because they've achieved that either because they're witches, bitches, or whores. That's not always the truth. Mm. Someone said to me, there was someone raised a question and said, eh, everything is glossy, glossy, glossy. Is that a true reflection of our society? I said, well, Everything was shot in Lagos, mm -hmm. real life um, locations. Nothing mm -hmm. was a set, mm -hmm. nothing was studio exactly. based. Yeah. Everything, the houses you saw are real houses. People live there. Mm -hmm. The clubs we were in exist in yeah. this town. Mm -hmm. Do people live the lives that you see portrayed in this film? Yes. Yeah. There are people living in Via Leki and in They're and, living there. and living a really good yeah. life in this country, regardless of what's going on, you know, socially or otherwise. So yes. They're real people, people you and I know. Mm -hmm. Watch the movie. You'll be able to... I'm sure there are a few people in your life. It's okay, this is Ajoke. This is, yes, this this is, is Mary. This you know, is you, this, you will yes. see them. They're people you know, you meet every single day. Like she said, maybe you don't... You can't relate to every single aspect of their situations, mm -hmm. but you see things that you can relate, relate to. to. Mm -hmm. But why did you? Why didn't you think about portraying women of a younger age? Or would you be looking towards that? As, as I said, I, I had turned 50. Okay. And I wanted to do something to celebrate those of us at that age. There aren't films out there speaking to 50-year-olds. But don't forget, there's also a mother-daughter conflict in the film. There are also younger characters. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't live in isolation. We live in a society whereby we have those that are younger than us and those that are older than us. You can also see a generation above. above. Her, mo her mother, um, Tola's mother, was also in the film, as in the character, and her father were in the film. Because life in itself, I mean, I say 50 is a slice of life. 50 happened over a four or five day period in the lives of these women. Mm. It doesn't stop, it doesn't end. Life is a continuum. So when the film ended, some people felt like, oh, something else should have happened. Life doesn't end. Mm -hmm. We still have to get up the next day and live life. Mm -hmm. But it was important for them to find some resolution to the conflicts that they were all facing in their lives. And if I can just say that, women are also very dimensional. Elizabeth is a very successful oh, doctor. Patricia. So one minute she's out there, she's speaking and engaging an, a, a society, I mean, at the, um, the school. At her you talk. Were, at, she's at, at the top of her game yes. professionally. She's, yes, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have another side to her that wants to be in a relationship with a younger guy because she has other issues and baggage that she's, she's carrying from a previous unsuccessful marriage. So what do you want the viewer to take away from this? I want the viewer to take away from this that we have upped the ante when it comes to making films. Um, I want the viewer to know that they have choices, that this is a very well done international film produced by Nigerians. I want the viewer to understand that this is a slice of life 
and then we've got amazing actresses like Iriti, Dakure, Inse and Omuni that have said, I am going to give this 100%. We've had amazing wardrobe, we had amazing makeup, the set design was incredible, the director did an incredible job, the producer did what she had to do just to show that we can make films here that can sit globally. Mm -hmm. That was very, very important for us. And I think another thing she's done without realizing it, I can say that as an actor, is um, she's given the older actors a new lease of life. Mm -hmm. We generally believe that you can only be sexy at age 25. No way. You go watch 50. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All four women rock. They're hot and sizzling. Mm -hmm. So it gives the older women a voice. You know, it just reminds you that you don't stop being beautiful just mm -hmm. because you clock 50. Absolutely. And you can be happy and you're entitled to be happy and live life to the fullest regardless of age. Age, absolutely. How long did it take you to put this movie together? Wow. In terms of putting it together, I would say probably about 18, 18 months. Yeah. Because even we'd started on it before I turned 50. And you can see it's only just hit the cinemas now and I'm 51 and a half. <laughs> so you can see how long the journey has taken us. And it was important for us to do it right and to do it well. So we spent a lot of time in post-production. We spent a lot of time ensuring that we could clear all the necessary tracks legally and all of that. So it was important for us to do everything, have a proper premiere that anywhere in the world you're watching and you're thinking, wow, this is how a premiere should be done. You know, um, we've created all the necessary hype and the PR and, you know, I couldn't have asked for a more amazing cast mm -hmm. than what we've had work on this project because they have really helped push 50 you know, personally, professionally, you know, emotionally, spiritually, we pray, we hold hands, we're like, Father, Lord, God, please, you know, so, you know, we have so much to be grateful for, truly. Really. Yeah. You're, you're, you're a family person, mm -hmm. and 50, mm -hmm. seeing the role you played in 50, mm -hmm. did that have any impact on your family? Uh, no, but I'll share a little story, and I hope my son is watching this morning, so he can be thoroughly embarrassed <laughs> as, I read, as, as I tell you this story. Um, like I, let me background it. I never make excuses for the roles I pick. This is 20 years coming. I pick my roles carefully, and if I commit to it, that's that. I make no apologies. But I do realize that I have growing, you know, grown-up kids, and my son, my older son, is 20, and there's a 17-year-old. So there's this whole noise about 50, and I say to the 20-year-old that, well, age-wise, you can watch it. But I would suggest that you don't, because watching your mother up there, you know, it might discombobulate you a bit. As for you, the 17, don't go at all. Mm -hmm. And if you find your way to the cinema and you go and watch 50, don't have the conversation with me. <laughs> then two days later, my 20-year-old son comes back and says, Mommy, I watched 50. I said, like, oh, you did? Mm -hmm. I said, um, I couldn't finish the movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I told you not to go watch it, didn't uh -huh. I? Not that there's anything to... Um, overt, mm -hmm. at least not with my scenes. Everything mm -hmm. was tastefully done mm -hmm. and professionally done. Mm -hmm. To reveal any more will just um, water down the imagery for people who are here yeah, to see yeah. the film. I won't mm -hmm. say more than that. Mm -hmm. um, however, the fact that we leave you and your imagination running wild, wild. is an attestation to the fact that we did a really yes. good job. So. I, I think that's what it is, really. <laughs> because I don't think... Okay, so if you start the movie, you really don't know where it's going to end. No, you don't. You there don't. are too many ups and twist downs and, and twists and turns, you know, and it's um, you don't see it it's coming. interesting. And I've watched okay, it so many then times. Then I should go and watch. Pardon? Is it in the market? Yeah, it's it's still in, the in every it's single in the cinema. cinema. We are no, selling just out. In the about, uh, it's not out in the market. Mm -mm. What on no, the streets? No, DVDs. no, 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 no. Okay, we're still doing just, our cinema run. Okay. Yes. So we're going to see fifty. Yes. Please. A word of advice: get your tickets well ahead of time. Time. They're selling out. Yeah. We have the tickets. Oh, great. Okay. People in your connected. We have the tickets already. But I want to thank you so thank much you so for much talking to us about 50. And we, we're, we're looking forward to more movies. Yes, coming. absolutely. Mm -hmm. More movies. Um, and God willing, the next one we're going to be working on is we've acquired the rights to Prof. Um, Wally Shoyinka's book, play, Death and the King's Horseman. Wow. Um, so that's our next big epic. We're hoping we take that all the way to Hollywood. We yeah. look forward By his to special that. grace. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Moab you. Budu, Executive Producer 50, CEO, Executive Chairman, Ebony Life Films. Thank you for coming. And did I forget and to tell you, you, you look, she looked
I don't you know how to describe like, f- Forgive me, 50? but you look 35. Oh, hey! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that that um, some people look younger than they age. Mm-hmm. This is what 50 looks like. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay, All I look right. To and it. we also have Ireti <laughs> Doyle, an actress. Thank you for joining Thank you for having us. Thank All right. you. Well, we are going to take a moment and we're going to join Ebony Band out there. We'll probably drag Mo and Ireti out with us to come okay. dance with dance? us as we yes. talk with our artist of the week, <laughs> that's Ebony Band, and we'll end the show from there. Don't go away. <laughs>